Hello and welcome to the Philippines. Welcome, come along on this uh, Cebu road trip from El Winson to Moal Bowl. It's uh, over on the west side of Cebu Island. And uh, I did a, I did an earlier, back in August, I believe, I, and this trip was in August, I did an, a shortened, more compressed video of this trip. Did a lot of editing, took, took a lot of sections out. For those of you who asked me to put, put up the long version, this is for you if you want to watch the very long version. Now, I, I, I didn't have enough uh, data on my camera, enough uh, storage capacity to do the whole trip, but much more of it is in this video than was in the first video. Um, I'm not going to put any music to this. I'm not going to do very much uh, voiceover. Um, that rattle you hear is a... It's a phone holder, cell phone holder, and I, I need to get some tape or rubber band or something put around it. That's what you hear rattling. I am driving a Rusi 250 Classic. I started in Cebu City where I live, and I went all the way around the island, going all the way to the north up through uh, Bogo, da, Daan, Bantayan, back down the other side, down through Toledo. And I left this, uh, this uh, third morning I had left up around Toledo, over on the west side, and uh, I was running short on data, so I didn't, didn't turn on my, my camera during, uh, through those stretches. Anyway, we're getting down. I'm, I'm going to go through uh, this little town, El Winson, and Borelli, and on to Mole Bowl. And then when I get to Mole Bowl, I'll show you a little bit around uh, the Mole Bowl area, beach area. There are a couple beaches down there. I'll show you around the one. I'm not going to put any music to this. If you want to listen to music, uh, you can pick out your favorite tunes and uh, put them in the background at the, wherever you're listening to this at. There's some pretty nice stretches with uh, very nice highways out here, and I was, I was surprised. Uh, very little traffic in many areas as well. So anyway, if you have time and interest, come along for the ride. You'll get a little bit of an idea of Cebu Island. Also, I am using a GoPro 8 Black got attached to the uh, front of the motorbike. Does a pretty good job with image stabilization. Filipinos have a unique way of sharing the road. And uh, you will often find people coming at you, uh, <laughs> coming towards you, using your lane or part of your lane. And especially if they're passing somebody, uh, so don't be surprised. And it's very common here to make way. Move over and let them use part of your lane uh, so that they can pass because there's uh, the, the various speeds are, there's very slow and medium and, and, and fast out here on the road. So you just, uh, you make, make it work the best you can. Another thing that uh, I'll tell you is, I don't think I've ever seen a highway patrolman State police, highway, highway patrolmen out uh, stopping traffic out here in the province of Cebu Island. Uh, that may happen up around the Manila area, the, the uh, metro, metropolitan area up there, I'm not sure. But uh, I haven't seen anything like that out here. Anyway, enjoy. I will put a map of this trip uh, at the end of this video as well.
beautiful views there are along going along the coast of Cebu as you get close to it.
this is the turn off to Panaxima uh, Beach, if I pronounce that right. There's two, two be main beaches down here, Panaxima and White Sand Beach, White Beach. And uh, they're a few kilometers apart, and this, you aren't going to walk there unless you, you really want to take a long walk. And this, uh, this road takes you down towards uh, a lot of resorts down this area where you can do sardine watching, snorkeling. Uh, they've got dive resorts there. You can learn to dive. You can go out uh, for dives if you're already a diver. This area was really devastated uh, by Super Typhoon Odette, December 16th and 17th of uh, 2021. And uh, still a lot of resorts down in this area are still damaged. Uh, I think the government hasn't uh, some of them got to move back a certain distance from the sea, and and they, what I've been told by some of the owners, they haven't got a clear decision yet on just what they have to do. Uh, so there are some new hotels and, and bars up along this main street as well, and I'll point those out as we get down there.
just ahead of me up here is where uh, some of the new bars and restaurants uh, start uh, just up in this this area up in here and uh, so there's a number of places entertainment food uh, various things like that along this street relatively new they used to be down you'll see where we turn to the left down here and uh, JR of JRC Visa Consultancy he has an office uh, just right along here on the left I think right right there I believe on the left side uh, so he can do uh, visa issues uh, extensions um, marriage uh, marriage visas retirement visas work visas all those sorts of things uh, but anyway I'll show you some of the damage down here uh, especially down in this area we're going to take a left down here the sea is just just out there a few yards ahead of us and this is this is used to be all all hotels, resorts, dive resorts, restaurants down here for a long kilometer or longer, and a narrow, narrow little, narrow little street here, and can get pretty congested with traffic, people walking. Uh, Cora's here. I stayed there the first time I was here many years ago. Stayed at Cora's place. She's had to back her place off, get get off the uh, so many meters away from the sea, I guess. Uh, but at the present time, last time I was down here in August, uh, boy, this at night, this whole place down here was just dead. Nobody, most of these stores and restaurants, bars were closed up. No tourists, very few tourists, foreign tourists, because of the uh, travel restrictions. And now, now that it is November and more people are being allowed in the Philippines, hopefully we'll start seeing uh, some increase in foreign travelers, people going out to these various areas. Well, Bowl is, is, is an interesting place to, uh, to visit. This place on the right, Saavedra, I stayed there many, many, many months ago before the typhoon. And you can see the whole, the whole roof has been ripped off there. And I don't think they're going to be rebuilding. This was eight months after the typhoon. So I'll show you around just a little bit uh, down around the beach area. And here's a great view of what you see in, in Bowl Bowl. Um, clear waters, and just off there where it gets a little darker, a little deeper, that's where the sardines run. So you can actually walk out there. You can rent life vests and uh, snorkels and that sort of thing. And walk out there and see the sardines or you can rent uh, you can rent a boat somebody to take you out there various places as well also they have sea turtles and this is further up I don't know call it uptown I'll call it uptown uh, lightning lightning in the background we had some heavy rain that night but these are the the newer bars I don't think they many of them existed three years ago before the lockdowns and I've had to turn the uh, the volume way down because uh, it's a screaming loud uh, uh, noise a couple singers just across the across the way from where I ate I'll show you that bet bet Betsy's place I believe I've eaten there a couple times really good burgers and other food um, Disc jockeys at a couple of these places, bands at a couple of these places. Uh, this was in the middle of the week, but uh, you can see it's not, it wasn't real busy when I was there. Weekends would get more busier with more Filipinos, local Filipinos coming in as well. Uh, but there are options anyway. There are options to eat. There are options to uh, for entertainment. Hungry Monkey place there. I have not been up there. I think I'll do a separate video. I've got quite a bit of uh, mobile bowl uh, information and video that I didn't post originally in my original uh, video down here. And uh, I think I'll just do a separate separate video there. I think massage place back in there. I think they had rooms back in there. There, there are a number of places you can get rooms up and down these various streets. A uh, number of resorts starts getting dark now. We're, I'll show I'll show you the uh, the place just as we get down here. JRC Visa Consultancy and Immigration Services. 
Yeah, that's the JRC Visa Consultancy, one of their offices. And uh, so you have a number of places that probably just open on weekends, if, if they're open at all. This was eight months after the Typhoon Odette, and uh, it's um, before they just started allowing unvaccinated people to come in just with a negative uh, antigen test before that time. So very, very few foreign tourism here. Oil. Oil is a kind of like a chain of smaller, cheaper, I think generally cheaper, not always cheaper. Taverna, Taverna Greek place. And I had emailed them asking to uh, get some information and do some videos some of their places. Never received a reply. That's that's very common, I found, in, in the Philippines. Uh, many businesses do not respond to emails for whatever reason. Anyway, we're down here and go left. I stayed at a place down here. Uh, going left where pretty much everything was closed at night used to be used to be a really hot uh, jumping area uh, This But uh, yeah, pretty much everything was closed and this was early in the evening relatively early in the evening So if you're looking for a place to uh, lease this place nice location right at the corner here You go right and you, you get resorts you go left you got resorts and many of them closed and uh, damaged still from the typhoon. But then the, the ocean is right here, just off the end of here. I ate at a place called Betsy's, uh, where I first started walking here. And uh, you'll see... Right. Highly recommend Betsy's. I've eaten there a couple times. Uh, great food and service, very good service. Uh, the noise is coming from across the street. They're making a lot of noise. Uh, they don't have any customers over there, probably because it's too noisy. Several other places as I walked, uh, they had music, but it was toned down so you could go in and enjoy a meal and uh, still talk. Um, I think that's an issue with a lot of these places. They, they, they like to crank that noise up, a lot of these places. They don't understand. People come to, to relax, to have a meal and a drink and talk. And, uh, you know, the entertainment is, is okay, but uh, when, they're, when they're screaming so loud, it gets quite annoying for many people anyway. So using Google Maps, uh, here's, here's my route. And uh, I kind of wanted to stay as close as I could along here. And next time I'll, I'll try to do that. Uh, there's not a main road there, but I think there are some other roads that go down through here but I started up here and uh, Ello Gwinson something like that and uh, where I started uphill and it takes this this road up up through here I, I did not include Barilli I had an I had an issue uh, as I was just leaving Barilli my my luggage rack uh, frame busted and I had to limp back into Barilli and find a welder, and, and, and I found a hobble hobble driver, a motor, uh, a young guy that, that helped me find a welder, and uh, I think it cost me uh, 200, 200 pesos, something like that, for like three hours of work, supplying me with a little bit of metal to fix the bracket. Amazing, about four or five US dollars in the end. And uh, anyway, you go down here, and I'll zoom in a little bit, all right. Zoom in here a little bit, and uh, you got you got Moel Boal, this whole area here, and you can see up here you have you have White Beach up here, and you have pa Panag 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 Sama, pa something like that. Pescador Island over here is a, a big diving place. I've dived out there. Uh, interesting. You can you can get on a uh, a dive boat, go out there and dive. You can rent dive equipment various places along here. Um, so anyway, this is where I turned off the main road. The main road keeps going south, of course, 
and uh, went down to uh, went down to into this area down here. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And uh, maybe we'll see you uh, one day soon here in the Philippines. So much to see and do here. I hope to do a little more traveling soon.